Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a bottle stopper using a mandrel. Let's go over to the lathe and get started. All right, I have my blank here. So I did a threaded insert on this one, but if you're doing one with tap threads or threaded inserts, it's all the same. Even if you're doing, you know, like pizza cutter handles, things like that. Make sure, put your blank on there, make sure it's tight, and pull your tail stock up. Make sure that it is supported. The threads only go in there just a little ways, so supporting the tail stock as you're turning it is a key to, to keeping any vibration down. If you get a catch or something, it could damage, you know, it just break the piece of wood out. Um, so make sure that you have that tail stock up and you turn 99% of the, the piece before you pull the tailstock away and then all you have to do is clean up that one that little spot right there on the end before you start sanding so and it doesn't matter whether you're using gouges or carbide just make sure you have that tailstock up there to support it and so it's nice and stable and you get less vibration and no chance of it it tearing if you did thread it no chance of it tearing the threads out or even even breaking the piece so i'll just turn this real quick and then I'll show you when we get to that end right there, I'll pull it away. We'll crank the lathe speed up, about 2,000 RPMs, spindle gouge. It's going to be a bottle opener. Right down to the collar there. Because the the tail stock a little point goes in there just a little bit when you're shaping it. Pull it down to about right there. That way it gets a little, little pin there. When you turn that little little piece away, it doesn't have a hole. In it. Bring the tool rest right around the, the side here and bring that down just a little bit. Just like that. Then you can pull the tailstock away and that's all you have left to clean up. You've got one little spot right there. little point was in the center and you're ready to start sanding but just make sure you have the tail stock up there it's gonna make it a lot easier and cut down on all that vibration I hope that helped just remember to bring the tail stock up it, not only for bottle stoppers and things like this but anytime you turn in a piece the further you, away you get away from the headstock the more my, vibration you have so that tail stock is a nice safety feature and it cuts down on the vibration any chance of it damaging your your blank or even the mandrel so make sure you pull that tail stock up to support it Hope you enjoyed the video. Please, if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Take care.